You knew they had some talent coming around. Should be a great match based on what we saw from Sarah Lopez this morning. Shooting for her second gold medal of the day. Good start. Yeah. It's an advantage too, having been out there earlier today and knowing what you got going on versus, you know, somebody who's just walking out there. Sokji Hyun, Korea. Getting a feel for things. So advantage Colombia. First World Cup event ever for Sarah Lopez. And a strong start with a 10 and a 9. points. Still on that left side, not ahead of knowing what the wind's doing yet, so it's kind of tough. So at this point, is she just kind of going off of what she's seen other archers doing and trying to, I wouldn't say copy what they've done, but try to pick up something from what she's seen already? Yeah, I would say for the most part, you look and see what you can find from what everybody's doing, but you don't know exactly what your bow, because everybody's bow is a little different, what it will do and how much it'll go off. Uh, so it usually takes a little bit for you to figure out where you got to. Latin America next month. Trailing by three, Sokji Yun. Shoots low into the left. And Lopez continues to impress. Yeah. Following right where she was at the team event this morning, just solid. It was just one shot after another. Yeah, she did amazing. That's what we were discussing. In fact, I think she shot only one nine. Could have done. Yeah, the rest yeah. were all bullseyes. We'll see if she can keep it up right here. And take advantage of those two eights by her competitor, and she does. <laughs> Starting to put some daylight between herself and her Korean competitor. Yeah, she's starting to feel it too. You can see her breathing. She knows, you know, the excitement getting there. Maybe the chance you're like, ooh, I have, might have this in my hand. And mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, mentally strong. And I guess Dietmar is now officially a photographer. I guess. You never know with Dietmar what he's up to. The man of many trades. Yes. Cabinet maker, photographer, yeah. world-class archer. Nice. Yeah. And a better shot, shot right there for Sok Ji Yun. Open for a little more of an open door, but as good as she shot it, it couldn't be much. But the momentum keeps rolling. Yeah. yeah. Those are the ones you get a little nervous because you know your muscles are getting weaker and more tied up. And to end up with that, you're just happy. Trailing by nine midway, or I should say, as we start the third end, and there's another. Great shot by the young lady from Colombia. Eight arrows in that win, and she's only down one. That's pretty impressive. On the line. I mean, you can see her bow moving. And look, yeah. look at the result. So we begin the fourth end. Sokji Yun trailing 89 to 77. Came in to Antalya saying, I want to show the world I'm not a one hit wonder. And I don't think, it appears as though she's not going to win this match, but I don't think she's a one hit wonder by any stretch. I think she's going to be a factor for a long time to come. Yeah, anytime you can come out and back to back World Cups and place in the top three, there's no one hit wonder. I mean, you've proved that you can. It's not a fluke. Yes, yes. And there she is, finally getting in the center ring. Her first 10 
since the final shot of the, four, of the first end. Yep. But she's just run into somebody right now who's steamrolling. Yeah, and you get on those days and you just turn and shake your head and say, it's just not my day. I, you know, like I said, when the guys from Denmark threw down that 60, I just looked over and was like, hey, they deserve to win. Sure. They're flat shot good. And that's what she's doing here. She's just putting on kind of a clinic, I guess you could call it. And there's days Rio Wild has done that too. I've seen you shoot 150. Uh, those are fun days. <laughs> Wow, a nine. Who is, uh, as we like to say in the States, putting on a clinic right now? I'd say so. What a performance. And Suk Ji Yun starting to come on, but probably a little bit too little too late. Yeah, she's got a pretty commanding lead. They take, take something really bad to really... Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you could hear that at home, but George in the background with a wow. We'll yeah. second that. Yes, I will. That's, I don't think many of the men coming up would want to be shooting against that. You know, and let's put this in perspective for people who may be watching for the first time. You're aiming at a target, basically. That 10 ring is what, about the size of a CD disc, something of that uh, nature? Probably about the size of a baseball. Wow. About the size of a baseball. Okay, yeah. the circumference of a baseball. Yeah. And, and from 50 meters. Yeah, so five yards further than halfway across a, base, or a football field. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the best way I give it to describe to people. You know, a U.S. football field. You know, because they have a 100-yard field and it's halfway across. I mean, it's, a, it's a pretty healthy distance. But Sarah Lopez has gone the distance. A nine to finish it off. 10-10-9. What a day for Sarah Lopez here in Antalya on Coney Alti Beach. An emotional moment for her as she wins her second gold medal of the day, and I think it's just hit her. Yeah, I think it's, she just, you know, it's a, it's a great feeling.